Ann Coulter said immediately after the attack that Donald Trump just won himself the election. And, you know, I don't know about Trump, but does terrorism, the terrorism threat being reawakened more or less since they didn't talk about, they haven't talked about terrorism up until now in the debates, is this going to help the Republicans because they seem to be the ones that Americans turn to in times where their security is threatened? Peter? Um, we'll see how this plays out. Um, first of all, we do have, you know, almost a whole year before the elections. And there's and a lot couple of months in the primaries. For, fair enough. A couple of months in the primaries. You know, I think uh, both sides profit politically from having this kind of emotional issue uh, to kick around. I mean, it, I'm sure 99 percent of Americans say we don't want more terrorism. Um, whereas Americans are hopelessly divided over economic issues and, and the social issues that we talk about often here in terms of gun control. So both sides love to have one of these red, white, and blue. We call them apple pie issues in, in politics. Nobody can, can oppose them. Um, the Republicans do have an advantage that they are fearless about bringing these things up in the most bombastic ways possible. And so I would say, yeah, I would give them a, a bit of an advantage over all this, uh, only because they will be shameless in further emotionalizing uh, the issues. Um, Americans want blood, and the Republicans are happy to, to promise it to them. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'll give them some extra points uh, right now. Well, I think I that make a quick point. One second. I think that they will tap into that xenophobic base with those comments. But I think traditionally, you know, voters have gone towards Republicans when in times of war. And Eric, do you think that Hillary Clinton, being the kind of hawk that she is, is actually going to, can help the Democrats kind of level the playing field on that, or do you think the Republicans are just going to own this security issue the rest of the way? I think the Republicans will own it mainly because, as Peter was saying, they can speak very violently about it and get away with it. One example that appeals I was to the base. I don't on, think that appeals to the general electorate. You don't think so? How so? I don't think, you know, when you look around the states that have gone through with it, I think most of, most of the states that don't want to ban, or the governors haven't said we're going to ban refugees, I think they support those governors' decision. You know, and I think in a lot of the states where some of the governors in, in uh, purple states that have gone towards that direction will also see some backlash. But see, I recall, at least I was a little young when 9-11 happened, but the moment it happened, it was all about fear-mongering and selling the idea that terrorism was coming and that we needed defense from it. And I think if you look at Donald Trump as an example, if you go back one or two months ago in the campaign, he said he loved the Muslim people, that he had no issues with them. Suddenly Paris happens and now keep the Syrians out. I hate Muslims. You know, they're the terrorists. Look at mosques. And now it's changed his tune and people are letting him get away with it and they're starting to give him support. Some of the post uh, Paris polls are showing that Trump has increased in the numbers and it's for him, you know, he's perfectly capitalizing on this strategy and using it to his advantage and to to push his campaign further. And I think the Republicans will get away with that because it's almost assumed that they're going to take those stances. And now that there's a tragedy to fuel it, it's acceptable in some forms, although it shouldn't be, but it is. Well, I think the difference is that, you know, Al Gore, John Kerry, these are guys that the Republican Party can easily kind of make look like, you know, a bunch of pussies. I don't think you could do that with Hillary Clinton. Do you think Hillary Clinton has a big, big, bit of a leg up on someone like John Kerry when it comes to this? Only if she's willing to stand up, though, and take those aggressive stances. She has to be careful because if she goes too far right, then she may alienate some left voters. And until the nomination happens, like we're assuming one that Hillary Clinton wins, if she takes a stance too soon, some of the Dem voters could switch over to Sanders, seeing him as maybe a better alternative to avoid a war situation. Peter, you know, we've seen Hillary and Bernie try to outdo each other to, to the left on economic issues. Come general election, do you think that, I mean, presumably she's going to win, and whoever comes out of the Republican Party will try to outright each other on security and defense issues? First of all, I'm, I'm going to just say how disappointed I am that the question that you asked, uh, Eric, which involved calling Democrats pussies and then no, bringing no, Hillary Clinton Democrats, Clinton not Democrats, John Kerry and Al Gore. Was, was not was not was not given was not given to me. Um, I'll just express some personal regret there. You know, I mean, the, the, the primaries are, are are different than the general election in the same way that we're we're always mentioning how the Republicans turn up the crazy to eleven during their primaries. 
uh, and then have to dial it back uh, for the general election. Well, Hillary, to a certain extent, given that her uh, challenger here, Bernie Sanders, is so far to her left, she's got to be careful, too. She's got to bring the uh, turn her left side up, if you will, uh, a little more in the, in the primary process than she will in the general election. I think, though, that absent any other serious terror attacks, because if you get another big one, especially to affect Americans, then the gloves are off and every candidate is going to be screaming for, for blood. But I think assuming that, that nothing severely uh, happens that involves Americans, you know, Hillary's got some real problems going into the general election. First of all, the, the Republicans will tie her as closely as possible to Obama, um, who they have created a narrative as being weak and feckless uh, in the face of, of these threats. True or not, they have been successful in, in, in painting that picture, and they'll tie her to that. And she'll be stuck trying to figure out whether she should back off of Obama or, or, or keep attached to him and things like that. Second, she can't make up her mind how she wants to characterize her vote to in favor of the Iraq invasion. Uh, she tries to step away from it as much as possible, but at the same time, she could be using it as an example of, hey, you know, when we need to go to war, I'm all in favor of it. But instead, she's sort of pissing off both sides. The third issue is going to be Libya, where she was strongly in favor of military intervention uh, in, in Libya, but it turned out really badly. And she's still pussyfooting, got it in, um, pussyfooting around the idea that, that Libya turned so out so badly. Uh, in the last debate, she was blathering about how they had an election, and, and then some bad things happened. And, uh, next question, please. So her dithering about whether she is hawkish or, or not, or, or a little right of center, is going to harm her, I think, when she gets to the general election. The Republicans will be on every one of those inconsistencies, um, you know, like a hawk on a rat. And Hillary, being the way she is, will basically dither around and give them more to work with uh, on every opportunity. It's, she's going to really need to cover her, her flank on this issue.